love is blue star warrior one here all the glory goes to lord jesus christ our savior now lord jesus christ is coming soon so very very soon there are people who who flat out believe that the rapture and uh all of that is the work of satan you need to take that to prayer and ask god god for guidance wisdom and understanding and not fight with people over it it's just it's going to go nowhere i'm just going to blatantly ignore you or block you that with these comments about that that i'm i'm following lucifer by talking about going home and being with jesus uh what about yeah enoch was he not uh raptured and blessed with his glorified body and he never faced death and what about Elijah? Uh, wasn't he raptured and did he never face death? Now we do have to put on our spiritual armor every single day. But those that are true, true followers and to love Lord Jesus Christ with all their heart and soul. Lord Jesus Christ doesn't want them to go through the whole entire judgment of the whole entire tribulation. We are in tribulation. But we're not going to be partaking in the wrath of God. Why would God have a wrath against his beloved sons and daughters? The unbelievers and unrepented and the lukewarm, yeah, <laughs> he's going to be angry with them. and He's going to shake them and he's definitely going to have wrath against those who have partaken in the mark of the beast because they were taken in the cup of God's wrath. And so uh, they're going to have God's anger on them. And they're going to get the monkeys and everything else. Uh, but those that are true, true, true followers who love Lord, accepted Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, repented for their sins, gone through the hard healing and deliverance, and stand in God and give up all their worldly things, which I just did again. <laughs> I got rid of three more trash bags of stuff that I realized that I did not need anymore. Uh, God revealed to me I had to get rid of my call for an uprising merchandise. So that means I'm probably going to be taking down those videos as well. I'm waiting for confirmation on that from God, and those are probably going to go next. Uh, it is just God telling me what to do. It's not me. It has nothing to do with me. So, if God's doesn't answer me they'll stay up and but if God says remove them they'll go but if God says leave them I'll leave them be uh, God revealed to me that they had to go my call for an uprising uh, merchandise had to go and I thought it was good and one of them had Bible scripture on the back of it but it was like it has to go so it went in the bag and it is going away. And, uh, and I also have like a, a whole big plastic tote full of stuff I'm getting rid of. It's just going to go bye byes and never come back. So, but that's just how it is. And we all should do a thorough closet cleaning and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us to when we clean our, clean our home and get rid of things. Uh, God will reveal to you what needs to go and what should stay. But that's between you and God. I can give you a few clues, though, of things that God had revealed to me. Anime, all anime has to go. Disney, all has to go. Uh, even that cute little uh, Mickey Mouse stuffy has to go. Uh, anime means, you know, Vocaloid which is Vocaloid, which are anime, virtual va virtual animated characters that sing, uh, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, they all gotta go, Zoid's Chaotic Century, Zoid's Genesis, all that stuff, that has to go, uh, Hex signs, they need to go as well, uh, you can do your research on what hex signs are, but you have to get rid of them. Uh, ugh, they're dirty. Just for a beginning, but you got to do your own research. That's between you and God. Now, 
As the title of this video states, it's just Daniel chapter 7 verse 26 through 27. And that is all I'm going to be reading from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And when you partake in God's word, always ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit and guide you to wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. And what, who are they taking the dominion away from? Mm, it's the prince of this world. Mm, Lucifer. There are his dominion is coming to an end. And he, he is so crooked that he thinks he's going to either going to win or... He's going, or he just wants to take as many souls as he possibly down, can down to the lake of fire with him to, so he can burn and torch them forever. Could you imagine being burned and torched forever, gnashing, gashing your teeth? And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. And who are the people of the saints? The pure, true, worshipping Followers of Lord Jesus Christ are the saints. And who's the most high? Lord Jesus Christ. Whose kingdom is everlasting kingdom. And his kingdom is everlasting to everlasting. It will never end. And all dominion shall serve and obey him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All grace and glory to God. And I will leave you at that. Please accept Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. He died on the cross for your sins. He shed his precious blood for you. And he's knocking at the door of your heart. He wants to come and sup with you. Please let him in. And when you accept Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, you're going to love him so much. that You're going to want to get down on your hands and knees, if, if you're physically able, and repent for your sins. And turn away from them. And it is a battle. As you will continue to willfully sin... Or unwillfully sin. Um, at first, you will continue to repent if you go right back and, and start watching uh, some dark things on the on the web. You're going to go back and and see it, and notice, and then feel guilty of it, repent of it, and turn away from it, and beg and ask God that you won't be tempted and that you'll be able to get away from it. And God will get you away from it. You just have to turn and ask God for help. And little by little, you'll finally let go of all those things. And you'll be praising and singing God, singing to God and His Son, Lord Jesus Christ, in song. And you want to truly be one of those saints that's of the Most High. <laughs>